Hello, Matt Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Players sending their swings, putting the button, hitting the button at the bottom through camera roll or taking videos of their swings, sending them to me. I'm trying to do as many as I can because I'm getting so many at the moment. I'm trying to help you guys play some better golf. This is a classic, what people call over the top swing. Let's see if we can give you a few more ideas if we haven't given you loads already to try and help you kind of control that action um, and see if we can get them playing some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, interesting swing here. It's, it's another one of those ones, a little bit in setup you could see maybe that he's swinging left, but it might even be the camera angle, so I can't tell that. Um, but this guy definitely has not a bad backswing at all, and then downswing severely changes direction to look like it's swinging quite heavily to the left. Ball's going to start left, could go further left, subject where that face is to the path, but nine times out of ten for people they cut it back to target or even beyond, subject to their face, the path control. If you wanted to improve how much curvature you put on the ball to hit target, we would definitely think about trying to move the path of the club a little bit. Definitely more rightward, straighter, so more right of how far left you are, basically. Um, it's an interesting one. For me, I mean, that's in a setup, I can't tell if you have your shoulders open or not. It looks like you might do, so it looks like your shoulders are a little bit this way. So we see quite a lot of the left arm under the right. Now I can make a normal backswing from there, but on the downswing that makes it very easy for me to feel like I want to open up my shoulders, which in turn drags that club over and down to the left, which is going to give me that carve, because I would always leave a face open to the path if I felt like I was swinging left like you are. Um, so definitely we might look at your shoulders a little bit in setup. Downswing we also see big rotation, maybe a bit of forward bend as you hit the ball as well where a stronger hitter as they hit the ball, and people think this is early extension, it's not, as they come in to hit the ball, they're extending their hips, so they're extending this way as they hit the ball, but what they do is they extend this way, they have side bend in there as well, so this left hip will stay back, it's just the lower part of the back is extending this way, so you think about a follow through position, you are going to end up fully extended, hopefully, this way, so you're going to be beyond straight and actually going back the other way, where you start a swing, forward bend. That's one always kind of throws people's that one. Try and get your head around that bend, side bend combination of is what we're talking. So look, try and help you out here. Let's go, set yourself up, aim pretty straight. You can even aim down the right hand side with face and feet if you want to, just so slightly right of target, maybe 10 yards. I want you to definitely feel like your shoulders are aiming down to the right, drop the right shoulder back, feel like your shoulders are pointing more off to the right, then I want you to make your normal backswing, downswing, I want you to try and feel as you come through that you're pushing your hips much more out to the target, people will feel like that's starting with the hips forward first, try and make sure you get an extension on this way through, try and feel like you are staying side on as you extend, try not to rotate so much on that downswing as well, just to try and push path bit more out to the right. That's what's going to help you change direction if you can move that body in a slightly different way while at the same time feeling like you're more side on moving to the left rather than so rotated on the way through which is great for dragging the path and that club head to the left. So if we do it from this side I want you to feel like you're moving to the left side as you're coming in to hit the balls around start extending to tummy out so you'll feel your lower back's moving this way, but you'll have side bend in there as well, which will compensate for that movement, which on that 2D camera makes people think that they've maintained their spine angle, even though no one maintains their spine angle. Um, anyway, that's a different video. <laughs> um, so I want you to get that set up more to the right, shoulders definitely to the right, normal back swing, down swing, feel like you're moving side on, don't open up, and then extend through the ball. Now you're going to hit a few massive blocks when you do this to start, really common because Let's pretend you swing 10 left and your face is kind of 5 to 12 open to the path, so you hit kind of pushy cuts, starting slightly left cuts and overcutting to the target. Let's just pretend that's the case. As soon as you move path to the right, often for golfers, they move the face the same to the right as well. So now their path there goes to right, but the face is still 10 open to that path, so your face is now massive open or right of target, so you just get massive push cuts. So I want you to do one more feeling, and this one blows people's heads off, but it often just changes their impact so instantly. So shoulders to the right, feet to the right, I want you to make your normal back swing, stay side on, but I want you at the down swing to try and feel like you're flipping it left. Now I don't mean flipping it left, let's not take loft off, you can even feel like you're adding loft. I want you to feel like the head is overtaking your handle as you do it. 
to feeling, use it. It just transforms the way people hit the ball. People who cut the ball often feel like they need to rotate the club around the handle, close the face, which is almost impossible to do at the speed it's pulling out down by the ball. You, even if you feel like you can do it, it's not gonna happen. I want you to feel as you're coming in and hit the ball, so kind of right shoulder downwards, feel like you're starting to flip that club forwards to get the loft of the club pointing high and left. Quite a lot of information there. Um, be interested to know what you think. There is another sneeze for you all watching. <laughs> That's about my third sneeze in three videos in a minute. Um, try and give that a go. Let me know what you think. Post comments, I'd love to hear because it's quite a lot of info. So we're going set up slightly different, side on with extension. That's going to make people think they're going to, they call it early extension. I think it's one of the most overused words in coaching personally. I could show you loads of tall pros who push their hips off that line that everyone draws on their 2D systems. Um, but it's not early extension. You're extending while side bending, which literally if you're rotating at the same time, that pushes the hip more out to the left, which on those 2D screens, it can stay on that line that everyone wants to stay on. And then also the flipping bit. The results I have with asking people to flip are just astronomical, just massive improvements. So many people, certainly on YouTube comments and stuff, are like, you know, why are you, are you never asking anyone to flip? You should be you know, leading it with your flat left hand and all these kind of things. I mean, I've seen data from wrist sensors where people's left hand is extending, or tall players always extending as they hit the ball, never flat very rarely holding off, nearly always going into extensions, letting that club catch up and overtake with the hand. So you want to hit with loft, you want to hit with the club pointing more left. If you turn it around this axis, you're simply taking all the loft off. Well, I've only got 10 degrees on this, why would I want to take loft off? I want to hit, for my max, I kind of want to hit with 18, 16, 19 degrees of loft off and his dynamic is where I want to be striking it. Post comments, love to hear. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Matt Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Players sending their swings, putting the button, hitting the button at the bottom through camera roll or taking videos of their swings, sending them to me. Trying to do as many as I can because I'm getting so many at the moment. Trying to help you guys play some better golf. This is a classic, what people call over the top swing. Let's see if we can give you a few more ideas. If we haven't given you loads already to try and help you kind of control that action. Um, and see if we can get in playing some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, interesting swing here. It's, it's another one of those ones, a little bit in setup you could see maybe that he's swinging left, but it might even be the camera angle, so I can't tell that. Um, but this guy definitely has not a bad backswing at all, and then downswing severely changes direction to look like it's swinging quite heavily to the left. Ball's gonna start left, could go further left, subject where that face is to the path, but nine times out of 10 for people, they cut it back to target or even beyond, subject to their face, the path control. If you wanted to improve how much curve